Hi, my name is Harpreet. I'm an application specialist at CAD Microsolutions. In this video, we'll be looking at a newly introduced feature in SWOT 2020. It's called Panels Manager. It lets you manage the properties of a batch of panels at once in an assembly. Usually when you're working with a SWOT, you will be working with a library of panels. You will bring those panels in and you will put together those panels to create your final assembly. This option is only useful when the user knows the dimensions of all of these panels beforehand. And it may not be useful in a case when you're working with a custom assembly and also the user does not know what the exact dimensions of those panels is going to be. In a situation like this, most users will take an approach where they're working with a multi-body assembly or multi-body part and then they would convert that part into an assembly. So for example, I have a multi-body here, uh, part that I have created, and this part I have generated an assembly out of it by using save bodies. Now what would happen is when I send this uh, body over to the SWOOT cam to do the nesting or any other operations, it would fail. The reason why it would fail is because the top direction of these panels have not been recognized properly. So to give you an example, let me go under SWOOT design and I go under edit panel and I select this panel and you can see that the, the, uh, the orientation of the panel is not correct. So this would run into an issue. Similarly, if I choose an, another panel, well, this one is fine. Let's choose this one. Well, this one we're running into issue again. And if I choose another one, we'll have the same issue. Now we can fix this panel manually, but what would happen if you're working with thousands of panels? That's where the SWOOT Panels Manager comes in handy. So to access SWOOT Panel Manager, you go under Tools, you go under SWOOT Design, and here's Panels Manager is available. You choose Panels Manager, and right away it lets you auto-orient your panels that you're working with. So you choose the panels that you would like to uh, auto-orient, and then you define the algorithm that will be chosen. The algorithm can be defined by going under Edit here, and then from here you can create a new algorithm by going here, click on New, and then you can define the name of the algorithm, and then you can choose what kind of body you would like to select, and, which, and, in, and in which direction the width is going to be. Once all of that information has been added, you save it and then you close. I'm not going to save it in this case and I'm going to choose Auto Orient. Now, once everything is selected, you run this and you notice as soon as it's run, it's able to recognize the direction of the panels. Now I'm going to click OK and I'm going to go under Edit Panel and when I choose this one, as you can see, the top direction has been recognized properly. I hope this information was useful for you. If you would like to see more videos such as this one, please follow us on social media or go to our website on cadmicro.com.